and the Manatee County School District is also seeing impacts. You can see this graph right here. It shows the number of cases since school started last week. The blue color represents cases among staff and the red num red color is student cases. You can see both have increased since the first day of school on August 10th. And now changes are on the way to try and contain any outbreaks. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee walks us through the protocol update families need to know. It's another week of mandated masks in Manatee County Schools. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, all those opposed, please say no. 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 A motion carries three to two. Similar to Hillsborough County, although masks are mandated, teachers and parents can opt out. It's extended until August 25th. Parents for and against masks in school shared their thoughts with board members Monday. Parents that aren't masking aren't going to mask. And those that believe that they need them, they're still going to do it. And it isn't going to change. We are all tired, including myself, of this virus. But I'll tell you one thing that I'm not tired of. I will never be tired of protecting our children and our community. Please, please mandate masks until this variant is controllable and children have a chance to get vaccinated. My daughter is home this week because of exposure at school and woke up this morning with a fever. I am terrified. I am scared. I've been sending her to a mask with a mask to school every single day. Three of the children in her kindergarten class are sick and one of the children is not doing well. She is five years old. You have it in your hands to make a difference and make a change. Reverend James Golden says he doesn't agree with the governor barring districts from making their own decisions on a mandate and requiring an opt out provision. Neither one of those is acceptable to me. I'm supporting this because it at least provides more protection than we now have for the children. And while board member Gina Messenger stopped short of saying her opinion on masks in schools, she thinks the board voting on a mandate is just words. Any parent that wants to ensure their child is wearing one can send a letter today. They don't have to wait for the board to make this decision. They can send it now. They can send an email now. They can contact their teacher now to do those things. But one parent told the board she hasn't been able to get any answers from the district on whether teachers and staff are encouraging masks and who's wearing them. And she knows his teacher is not. Unfortunately, my son's teacher is quite young and refuses to wear a mask to protect my child. Which she says is testing her trust. The board will meet again next Wednesday to decide if it should extend the mask policy further. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.